sooner or soon. The wires are so busy about Mr. Lincoln's death, I can't get in. I know. Keep on trying. The Indians sent here by the Modocs to Pow Wow are getting restless, sir. Take a detail and put Chief to hold on the guard. Yes, sir. The assassination of the president certainly played into the hands of that Prussian agent with the Indians. Yes, now that Chief Tahola can't communicate with the Great White Father by telegraph, I'm afraid he'll leave these Modocs on the warpath. Do you mind if I ride with your men, Colonel Sewell? I may be able to do something about the Prussians myself. That's a good idea, Steve. I've got to stay here until I'm sure Fort Loma receives my order for all available men. White Father has refused to talk with the Modocs. Instead, the soldiers have lied, as they always do, and have sent this man to spy on your tribe so they can make the attack. You must make the attack first, while there are still so few, before more soldiers come from Fort Loma. What of him? He is yours. Do with him what you want. <laughs> Sure did yourself a good turn saving me this time. Sure, that's the only reason I did it. Well, anyway, I know where the Prussian spies is hiding out the raiders. You find the raiders and we'll find the stolen gold. In that case, our first stop is Ghost City. Ghost City? But you and Steve searched it once. Not good enough, I guess. Do you know where they are in Ghost City? Wish I did. Well, what does it matter? Colonel Sewell's troops can find them. Not while they have to protect Oro Grande from an Indian attack. It's easy to see now why the Prussians was working on them Modocs. Yes, the Prussians will try to get away with the gold while the Indians are keeping us busy. You were right, boss. They saved Idaho. He knows what Morell and Burke plan to do. Just now, it's more important for us that I find out what Captain Clark and Colonel Sewell plan to do. Keep under cover, but wait here. Oro Grandy will be under martial law from now on. Take your men and start checking the residence for concealed weapons. Yes, sir. My men got back ahead of you. They ran into a large body of Modocs and were lucky to escape. Have you heard from Fort Loma, sir? Yes, and my troop will be here not later than tomorrow morning. That's too late for us, Colonel. Find out something? The gold is in Ghost City and so are the Raiders. I haven't men enough to split my forces now. Of course not. We know that, sir. So do the Prussians. What do you think of this idea, Colonel? The Modocs won't threaten the mine districts east of here. And those miners are just aching to get the raiders. Now, how about us getting the miners to clean out Ghost City while you hold the fort here? That depends upon Captain Clark. I won't need you here. Thank you, sir. Doc, we'll try it. Can I do something for you, Mr. Saad? Yes, Miss Haynes. I heard about the threatened attack, and I wonder if it's still possible for me to get a stage east. There isn't a chance, Mr. Saad. The uh, stages aren't coming through until I tell them to. Oh. Oh, I see. Thank you. Kathy, you better keep an eye on Mr. Sard. There's a good chance she's with Morell. Doc, you and Idaho are going with me to the miners. But You've got to ride and ride as you've never ridden before. Sure, that's all right, but where to? To Joe Burke and the Modocs. Thank you. 
remember those waiters of Gold City are responsible for you losing your gold and the Indian attack that's threatening Ora Grande. Hello. Hello. Gold out here in just a few minutes, Morrell. Then what? We should have to fight to save it. Send them in up with Slim. What's stopping us from making a run for it now? Unfortunately, the miners greatly outnumber us. You heard what Mr. Sard said, didn't you? Sure, but the miners won't be here for a while. Sooner than we'll take the load to gold and get away with it. Do what Morrell says. I sent him to Joe Burke as soon as I learned what was planned. She went in that barn. That's the one place we didn't get the once over. Yeah, but well, we won't miss it this time. You know what to do, Burke. Leave it to me. Remember, Dahona, you attack Ghost Sid, not Aura Grande. I fight all men after gold. Who speak with false tongue and cheat my people. Ah, that's good. Those Yankee miners have robbed you long enough. Dahona Braves right to escout all enemies. Oh, wait a minute, Dahona! <laughs> Hold your fire. Kathy, what are you doing here? Didn't you go back to Old Grandy? No, I've been keeping out of your way to make sure I'd be here for the finish. Where's Idaho? Scouting. Just to make sure that some of the Modocs don't come this way. Tough enough already. Kathy, intercept the troops coming from Fort Loma and bring them here. Doc, pass the word to the boys. We're going to get it both ways.
in a place where I can see anyone trying to get him behind our barricade.